We are so excited um, that you were able to come. Um, Mary Elizabeth Moore, who's Dean at um, Boston University School of Theology, and Yara Gonzalez, who's Diniano, um, who is a PhD candidate um, at Boston University. You came and you have lectured, given a wonderful lecture on wisdom. And of course, this is the Theology of Joy Project. And um, my first question really is, what is the relationship between joy and wisdom? Um, so one of the things that we look at in terms of talking about joy and talking about wisdom is all the things that have to be in place, right, alongside them and, and around it. Uh, in terms of uh, thinking about struggle and think, thinking about resistance uh, when we think about wisdom. So what arises the wisdom that arises from the struggle and the wisdom that arises from being resistant and resilient is what brings about the joy. Mm -hmm. um, and it's the, that's the way that we correlate wisdom and joy. Uh, it would be more of a correlation of the wisdom of joy, right? That the wisdom that, that is brought about by, by uh, overcoming the wisdom that is brought about, um, the la lucha, mm -hmm. uh, the struggle, the fight, the moving forward. Um, and that is a joyous occasion. It is a joyous occasion to overcome. It is a joyous occasion um, to know that in, in that struggle, you continue to move forward. <clears throat> Building on what Jada said, I think both wisdom and joy are processes. Mm -hmm. they're, not, they're not things. You don't arrive somewhere <clears throat> and have it all worked out. So my, my own understanding of wisdom is knowing God in the world in a deep and relational way. Mm. And um, to know God and the world in a deep and relational way means to be deeply in touch with existential experience, your own and that, and that around you, the pain of the world, the, the celebrations of the world, and so forth. And, and so wisdom is a process that evokes joy because it, it, it is a way of being in touch with and knowing in a deeper way, in a more relational way, being connected. And being connected helps people to, to experience joy or to decide for joy. Mm -hmm. So in the youth research we did, one of the things that we discovered is that sometimes the young people who expressed the most joy were young people who had gone through the most harrowing and challenging experiences in their life. So that became a very interesting observation to us, especially since it recurred over and over again. And, um, and we, in, in diving into this, this discovery, we, we made another discovery, and that is that it wasn't just that suffering made people feel joyful, it was that suffering often led people to want to know the world mm -hmm. in a deeper and more relational way. And it was that making sense of coming to know mm -hmm. that helped young people develop a wisdom that freed them to be joyful mm -hmm. because they were more in touch. It doesn't mean their life was free of suffering. It simply meant they were more in touch with what was going on. And we think that's one of the more interesting discoveries we've made. 